Hello viewer! I'm Steven Minka and this is my channel One Year Celebration. Celebrate, celebrate, come on and celebrate. Da, 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 da. Actually, you're probably smart enough to realize that it's a little bit past my one year celebration. The actual first date that my first video went up, I believe, was April 18th, which was about two weeks ago. However, I kind of unofficially declared that May is the unofficial start date because I had a few videos out because I wanted to get them out before I got the one for my dad's birthday out. It's just kind of how it's ended up. However, you're amazing and you helped get me to that 50 subscriber goal. And now I told you I was going to do something for it and I haven't talked about it, said anything aside from that one post, but I want you to know there's something in the works and it's something that I want to do, but it's going to be pretty hard for me to do. So that will hopefully be up probably next week. You'll know it when you see it. It, it should be pretty exciting. But yeah, so one year. We started with one video a week at the halfway mark in November. We went to two videos a week, and I'm now going to try to step it up to three videos a week. I have been doing it in little steps because I still have to have a full-time job so I can pay all my bills because this is not something that helps pay my bills yet. I would like to get it there eventually, but as of right now, this is just a hobby. This is something I really enjoy doing, something I'm having a lot of fun doing, and hopefully you're having fun joining me for this adventure. If at any point something happens or I can't quite make it, I'm hoping you'll forgive me. I'll let you know and we'll just go from there try to make up videos if I can. If not, you know, life is life. Everybody understands that, or they should. It's gonna be awesome. Maybe come November, we'll see where we are. Maybe we'll jump up to four videos then. Three is already gonna be a decent commitment with working a full-time job. In my original intro video, I talked about how I was gonna do song covers as well, and that's something that I haven't really done yet. Obviously, I sing in a lot of my Let's Plays. That's just something I do but I haven't ended up doing any song covers. Um, that's something I'm still having a hard time with. I still get self-conscious about it. But the other problem is I have this keyboard and no matter if I hit the button or the key soft or hard, it's the exam, it's the exam. It's the same exact volume. Obviously I can change the volume myself, but that's really hard because I grew up in a family and especially like my life was all surrounded by music when I went through high school I had more music classes than any other classes it's amazing I graduated music is part of my life it's basically part of who I am when it comes to the piano that is I played the piano since I was really little I was the one in my family that kept with lessons the longest it was really easy for me to take I was never the best I won uh, third place in my junior high uh, talent concert for playing this one when I was in seventh grade. Oops. Oh, that was right. This is actually currently the show that I'm watching while I work out on the elliptical. See, but I can't get those really low notes because it's a freaking keyboard. But yeah, it was really funny because I had, like, my friend let me borrow a bunch of his Star Trek figures, and so it took me more time to set up the figures on the keyboard, or on the piano, than it did to actually play the song. ended up winning third. I believe second place sang What was it? Brian Adams, the one from um Robin Hood. What was that one? I don't know. But if you've never watched Voyager, if you're a Trekkie, I don't know. I don't judge people for having different opinions 
on the Star Treks, but Janeway was who I grew up with, and Janeway is my jam. Like, she was badass. I know there are a lot of people that didn't seem to like it. But I did. And that's all that matters to me, right? And I could have been way better if I actually had practiced. For me, it was all about the emotion and everything. When you're playing, you're putting your emotion in. With a real piano, you get that emotion back. Because depending on how hard you're hitting things, like how you're moving across the keyboard, it all comes back as emotion. With this keyboard, this super cheap keyboard, it doesn't. And so it's, I've had a really hard time playing piano ever since I moved out of my mom's house, just because this thing is dead. It's lifeless. Like it's, it's almost worse than not playing, which is why I haven't played for a while. But it's all I have for the time being. So this is what I'm going to do for at the time being. I don't know. So that's my story on music. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. The other thing about this keyboard is it is a smaller keyboard, so it doesn't have the full range. Well, that's probably part of why I'm having an issue. I'm not sitting quite in the center of it. I don't have my middle C in front of me. Now we do. But yeah, it doesn't have the full range. And also there's a quarter stuck on the low C of the keyboard. So I can't do a whole lot with that. It's annoying, but it is what it is. This thing was cheap. And that's what I got. Awesome. I'm gonna commit myself and do what I can to get it going and I'm super excited and I just I literally have so much fun doing this this is something I should have done years ago but I absolutely love it every time I upload a video it just makes me feel good it makes me feel happy I really hope that I can help bring a smile to your day and a laugh to your day and I'm amazingly grateful to Hillary for joining me on this adventure and for being such a huge part of this channel. She's done so much editing and she's taught me so many things that I need to know to be able to get to where I am. I can still learn a lot from her, so I wouldn't be where I am today without her. And I know that she's going to continue to be there with me as this channel continues to grow. I also went for a run today. That's the first run I've done in like three years. It almost killed me. It hurt. I still hurt. But... I didn't die. You're right. I'm still here and I'm better for it just hurt and it's gonna hurt more as I do it more but I need to because I'm gonna get in shape because I want to be healthy I don't want to die like my dad did at 50 something I don't go alone. and Hillary doesn't want to go running alone that's a good enough reason and she is trying to help motivate me to help me get in the shape I want to be so that we can all be happy and that all kind of rhyme diddly dee music I got back when I was in high school or junior high. Because I used to play all the time back then. But not so much anymore. However, Hillary did get me some cheap music. From Katy Perry. And Journey. If you've never played Journey, it's amazing. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's wonderful. I absolutely depend on your help to be able to have the channel grow. I go out places and I market sometimes and I talk to people and I'll get a few people to come in and there here and there, but I really need your help to help spread the word. If you enjoy the videos, I extremely appreciate if you share them and talk about them with your friends because that helps me out if I get to a point where I can start making money off of this I can start to make more content and we can really just have a good time that's all I really want is to be able to hang out with you and just play games like I love video games it's fun and I'm not like the most amazing singer in the world but I love to do it and I think everybody should sing if anyone ever tells you to stop singing tell them to fuck off and don't I it breaks my heart when I meet people 
that are like, I don't sing in front of people because it's almost always because someone has told them to stop. Music is amazing. Music is healing. It's soothing. It's fantastic. Don't let anyone ever take that away from you. Sing to your heart's content. I don't care if you're tone deaf. I don't care if you suck at it. Do it. It's fun. You'll like it. I promise. Will the Kind of crazy to me that it's actually only been a year. I feel like there's been a lot of work. I know that there are some people that start out with like, they get on YouTube and they're like, hey, one video a day. And that's great that they can do that. That wasn't something that we could feasibly do. We've started at a good pace and we're working our way up. And so that's working for us. We're still able to keep ourselves mostly sane as much as we ever are, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be any more car accidents or anything this coming year. So we won't have to miss any videos for that because that's really shitty but my hand is all better yay so thank you so much for joining me it's been such a great journey so far one year and who knows how many more we're gonna go hopefully eventually it'll be something big and i can help people across the world in some way help people be happy help people have hope let people know that it's okay life sucks sometimes but it's gonna get better all I really want is to be able to help people and this works for me because I get social anxiety and so this is a way I can do it through a screen and still be able to connect with people but I'll also with that being said like I very much would appreciate if you want to comment or have anything you want to say like feel free to hit me up on Twitter on my Facebook page on Instagram uh, in the YouTube comment section anything I'm happy to answer I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible but I'd love to hear from you and hear the things that you're interested in as well as like anything that's going on. I want to be able to have that relationship with you, viewer. Please don't be afraid to ever say something. Say hi. It's It'll be awesome to hear from you. Harley's just sleeping back there. You know, like you do. Like you do. All right, viewer. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You're amazing. Thank you for everything. I love you. And always remember... the keyboard. No, stop. No, stop. No, stop. You're like Yarny. And always remember, no, no, no. Are you, you just playing your own song now? What are you playing? What are you playing? Okay, you done? I mean, that was beautiful, but are you done? Okay. And always remember, I'm glad you like playing the piano too, Harley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, look, we're almost done. And always remember that Harley loves you.
light, my angel, now it's time to sleep. And still so many things I want to say. Remember all the songs you Like a boat out on the ocean, I'm rocking you to sleep. The water's dark.